The Baker Hughes CSAP gravel pack system has all of the same field proven features of the CS300 system. The definition of CSAP is cake saver acid placement. Before running in hole with a gravel pack assembly, displace the open hole section and casing to brine. It's critical to the success of hole cleaning to maximize the fluid velocity at 300 feet per minute near the well bore wall. For this reason, it's important to fully maintain turbulent flow if possible. Low viscosity fluids are desired to help retain turbulence. However, while low viscosity fluids help maximize velocity near the wall, it's commonly assumed that their use also makes it somewhat more difficult to remove solids from the well bore. To carry solids completely out of the well bore, elevated flow velocities are required. The steps to complete the procedure are Pick up gravel pack assembly and run in hole to setting depth. Circulate brine down the work string and out the GPV shoe around the screen annulus at a rate below 25 feet per second past the SC packing element. Drop a stainless steel ball to set the SC packer. This action will shift the ball seat isolation sleeve downward, opening the return bypass ports in the crossover tool and locking the primary ball on the ball seat. Set the packer per the packer tech unit. Perform an anchor test on the SC packer. Pull 30,000 pounds over the last recorded up weight, followed by slacking off 30,000 pounds below the last recorded down weight. This is your run in hold position. Follow by picking up the work string to confirm the crossover tool is free from the gravel pack packer assembly. Pick up the work string to position the smart collet above the first indicating coupling. Slack off 30,000 pounds. This is your test packer position. Apply the required test pressure to the annulus to confirm the SC packing element is packed off on the casing inside diameter. Pick up the work string to position the smart collet above the second indicating coupling. Slack off 30,000 pounds. This is your circulating position. Start pumping operations once the pump rate has stabilized. Start sand feed from the infuser. Continue to pump alpha wave followed by beta wave till the screen is covered. Sand out will occur when the blank pipe above the screen annulus has been covered. Strip up through the high drill to reverse excess gravel in the work string. In upper reverse position, the flapper anti-swabbing tool collet will locate up against the bottom seal bore in the gravel pack extension. After excess gravel has been reversed out and returns are considered clean at surface, pick up the work string to shear the flapper anti-swabbing tool if it hasn't been done before pumping the gravel pack. Continue to pick up until the shifting tool closes the sliding sleeve. Once the crossover tool seals are above the SC Packer seal bore, drop the acid placement ball to shift the bypass tube isolation sleeve open and close the return bypass ports. This redirects the fluid flow path to the inside diameter of the wash pipe. The well is now ready for the upper completion. 
The Baker Hughes CSAP system provides one-trip horizontal open hole gravel packing with the ability to pump the breaker system through the wash pipe into the ID of the screen upon completion of the gravel pack. For more information, contact your local Baker Hughes Sand Control representative.